guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down this awesome Foo Fighter song right now. Also, real quick, I appreciate you subscribing here to Marty Music and clicking that bell notification. Really helps the channel out, so thank you for that. Uh, also, I have some great guitar education resources in the description below, so check that out. All right, let's break it down. All right, so the intro starts on an A power chord. So the open A string, seventh fret D, ninth fret G. And then the other guitar has some uh, effects, some delay on it, and it's playing a, a really cool part over it that I'm gonna show you. So it's, that's all on the G, B, and high E. And so the first one is nine on the G, 10 on the B, and the index is barring across the seven, with the right hand, with the pick, G, B, G, high E, then B, G, B. So put that together. Follow that same pattern, but the pinky now goes down a half step, so it's the seventh fret B. You play that exact same pattern with the right hand. But that last note, you got to bring the pinky back to the 10th fret of the B. So you put, put those together now. Now take your ring finger off. Same pattern as before. Except for the last note of it, you play the high E instead of the B. But you can think of it as the same basic pattern. Then the final chord, ring finger comes down on the 10 of the G. You're still barring across the 7 here. And you play the same pattern as the, as the first one. And then it starts over. Ring off, high E end, and then last one. And that's over. You know, goes over that. Now one little variation when it's playing the, f the last chord of the progression. That's what we normally play, but on, you know, the, you'll hear it in the song, he, it happens once, he hits the eighth fret high E at the end of it, instead of the B string. That's all, just look for that. When the vocals come in, the other rhythm guitar, uh, the, the arpeggiated chord part's still happening, but now the underlying guitar plays the progression. And so it's an E power chord. Well, sorry, it starts on the A power chord that we were playing before. So then we gotta go from that A with the open A, seven, nine. We're now just moving this up and playing an E power chord. So seven, nine, nine. And you can get the low E in there if you want. Then a B power chord. So now we've scooted it up again. And then a D power chord, which we can play right here on the fifth fret A string. Check it out, here we go. A. E power chord. You know, the parts going, the singing, and then the last one, instead of a D power chord like that, 
uh, Dave Grohl, I believe, plays. So on that last D, instead of the D power chord, shablam, it's an octave part. And so it's the 5th fret A string and 7th fret G. And then whole step, half step, whole step. So that's 10th fret on the A string. And then, boom, a power chord section. So we've got a good old-fashioned A power chord blowout, is what we call it. And so you have an A power chord, I think, uh, Mr. Grohl, to me. Classic A power chord. I'm using the patch from the katana. Uh, the other guitar prominent in there is that same A power chord. But we add the octave up there on the tenth of the B. Right, so that's going on. Then the rhythm changes. It's A, good old fashioned A, to E, and then a B power chord, but it is a B minor chord there. So, really classic power chord. Depending if you're the only guitar player, you could play a B minor. And then the D power chord or D minor. So that's the other thing. Before it goes in to the chorus, he goes back to that octave part. Now, underneath that, the other guitar, you know, you got A, E, B minor, and D minor. You've got this clever little thing. Etc. So you've got that A power chord. And then the piece, uh, and then you've got the E major, but you can focus on. And then that sus four, which would be the 10th fret beat. So. So what's going on here is I'm looking at it as a B minor 7 triad. And so that is the 9 on the D and the 11 on the G. Just like a B. Look at that. B power chord. And then the 7th seventh, seventh of the 7th interval of that chord is the 10 of the a B. So one guitar is doing. And the other one. And 
so finally I'm playing a D minor now. Which would be the 12th fret D and then 10 barred across. So you have... Uh, Now, back to Mr. Grohl. He does a variation on the recording. I looked at a live thing. I couldn't tell if he was doing it live, but in the recording, he just changes up that octave thing. Instead of... You know, little variation there. All right, there's another progression that happens, but there's a new octave part. One, two, three, four, one. So, fourth fret A string, and everything is a whole step up on the G string. Everything else is muted bought the two notes so so and it's one two three four one and so that's uh, if you just follow the a string So you got that, which I think is really cool. The fa the way it fits rhythmically. Just remember, uh, one and da 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 da. That's how you would count it. One da 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 da. Okay, so now we have the Dave Grohl progression that uh, similar but different. So it's the A. Now F sharp or F sharp minor. So eventually the other guitar player is going to be playing a triad up there, but F sharp power chord or F sharp minor. Then I watched it live. Dave Grohl went D major and then D minor. Basically, you've got one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And so the other guitar. So just those classic chords in a higher voicing. So the A, the E. Now the F sharp, which isn't in the other part of the song, even though we were playing something that like reminds you of an F sharp voicing, you can really get that in there now. And then I just went up to D major here and D minor, but you could do... D major, D minor, just like he does D major, D minor.
then you have it starts to mesh the parts together because you'll also hear. <laughs> You know, different parts like that to look out for. Um, the other thing is you've just got... And then you got it, man. Get to it! All right, there was the lesson. Hope you guys had a great time. Uh, I enjoyed breaking it down for you. Also, uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you uh, liking the video and subscribing here to Marty Music. Uh, thanks again. Hope to see you later.